the judges and to all viewers. Cliche but interesting topic of the day. Why do school pupils should bring handphones to school? Perhaps it could be implemented soon. Because if you realize, past few weeks, teachers, parents and pupils need to complete a survey by the Ministry of Education Malaysia about the usage of handphones in school. Before it takes place, let us look at the pros and cons of this matter. Ladies and gentlemen, handphone, mobile phone, smartphone, cellular phone, or even phone, they are actually the same and depends on us to name it. Alright, this is just a quick survey. Do you have handphone with you right now? I am pretty sure 99% of the viewers are holding and watching me right now. Am I right? Well, let's get back to our topic. Today, people are digital natives. Nearly 3 out of 4 school pupils, either primary or secondary schools, have access to a smartphone. It has become a must-have item to everyone. As for now, pupils in Malaysia are still prohibited to bring handphone to school. What do you think of this issue? Since there are two sides of contracting ideas, therefore, I would like to take this opportunity to let you know the advantages and disadvantages of allowing pupils to bring handphone to school. Ladies and gentlemen, I am one of millions of people in Malaysia. It is undeniable. With the technology available, it can help the pupils to learn more. A lot of content is presented online via YouTube, Canva, and many more apps. Due to its huge variety, it becomes very easy for pupils to access for different topics or subjects. This will make the lesson more fun and happy. Plus, we have the dilemma of a single account, right? Thus, with good internet connection in school area, pupils can search information on the internet easily. Parents and teachers do not have to worry because every single online activity will be monitored by the school authorization. Any unnecessary access will be blocked. During lesson, I personally felt pity for the teachers who bring a lot of teaching and learning tools all the way from staff room in order to make our learning fun and happy. By using handphone, there are many educational apps available in a wide range of subjects for all kinds of learners like us. This game like exercises encourage playful competition among pupils. Hence, pupils will try hard to perform from their previous score. So, teachers, you may come to our class with a happy part. Save your time and energy. Next, in the other aspect, it is true that headphone helps us to make communication easier, especially between two parties. Since it is too hard to find public phones in the school area, thus we could communicate with each other at any time using headphone. For example, parents can check up on their kids or relay important information if necessary at any time they want by calling or texting. Like for example, the children can tell their parents what are the activities and this will surely reduce the parents' anxiety. Other than that, handphone can be a useful tool in an emergency situation. For instance, a pupil is severely injured or involved in crisis situation. These situations may happen outside the school compound. The phones can allow pupils to contact authorities or anyone for help. Ladies and gentlemen, how about the adverse effect of bringing handphone to school? First and foremost, it's about theft issue. Pupils can be clumsy when keeping their things. Variety of handphones will attract the bad guy to snatch or steal. This will likely to happen because some pupils can afford to own it. Unless, the only way for them to have it is by stealing it. Next, handphone may cause distraction during lessons. Handphone is supposedly in silent mode or vibrating. The sound or phone ringing will disturb the lesson in the classroom. In addition, the pupils can also play games during the lesson, hiding their hands in the drawer. With a large number of pupils in class, there will be a group of pupils who will misuse the purpose of handphone. This will be the challenge in maintaining proper use and control of the pupils. However, I believe that teachers can be a positive force in helping pupils to use handphone properly in the classroom. Ladies and gentlemen, I have lined out some of the pros and cons of allowing pupils to bring handphone to school. 
Now, it is up to us to decide and choose what is the best decision on this issue. I would like to thank all of you for lending me your ears. Till we meet again. Thank you.